Hey Charms, welcome, welcome back to my channel. It's a girl IJ. Today we are going to be talking about, today I'm going to be telling you five brutal truths about women. Now, my videos are not to bash women or anything, but it's to open your mind so that it will be easier for you men to understand women. Because there are some basic things that you guys miss because you think, oh, it's a woman thing, but sometimes it's just not good on your person. All right? So my channel is to open your mind into understanding women so that you'll be able to pick the best woman for you at the end of the day. So if you're new here, welcome. And if it's your first time, sit back, relax, because I'm sure you're going to enjoy this video. And if you do, make sure you give the video a thumbs up and also subscribe before you leave. Now, my last point is very, very important. I'm not trying to force you to watch until the end, but the last point, make sure that you listen to it until the end because as you know i always drop my best advices at the end of my videos now let us start with this very first brutal truth and it's like the most basic truth about women that you need to know as a man when a woman likes you you are going to know that's the honest truth it's not as complicated as a lot of people try to make it seem when a woman fancies you she's going to make out time she's going to want to spend time with you She's going to want to give you all of her energy. She's going to put in effort. But when a woman doesn't like you, she makes excuses. If you're talking to that woman and all she's doing is making excuses or her words never matches her action, then I think you're just wasting your time. When a woman likes you, she will do things for you to see. She will put in the effort. She will show up when she says she's going to show up. She's not going to keep standing you up or making excuses unnecessarily. She's not going to always be coming up with you know, issues she wants you to fix rather than spending quality time with you. She's not as complicated as a lot of people try to make it seem. So if you're talking to this woman and, you know, she's only giving you audience when she needs something from you, she's only giving you attention when she's trying to ask for a favor, then she's just trying to use you, okay? You might even be in the friend zone already. And the reason why you're there is because you are showing up for her as a boyfriend when she has not said yes to being your girlfriend. So you're already doing the boyfriend uh, duty when she has not even said yes to you. So she's not going to want to bother herself to now become the girlfriend when she's already getting all of the exclusivity from you, okay? So you just have to know, it's not as complicated as people make it seem. If a girl likes you, you're going to know. And if her action doesn't match her words, if she's always saying something else and doing something else, bro, don't waste your time with somebody like that. Another brutal truth, and honestly, guys, I need you guys to pay attention to this one. Being physically attractive is important to women. Now, I don't care what people say, like, a man is never ugly as long as he has money. Brothers, listen, just hear me out. Have you seen some men recently? Have you seen how cute and fine a lot of men are recently? Just as how a lot of girls are looking really hot this period. Like, the competition is getting stronger. It is getting bigger. You cannot just say, oh, let me just make only money. Like, you need to look it, okay? You need to look the part. Being attractive is very, very important to a lot of women. In fact, there are women that will only follow you because you look really attractive. They don't even care if you have money or you don't have money. And, of course, your, your physical look is the first thing the girl is going to see before she decides to reply to your hello. So being physically attractive is very important to women. I don't care what people are saying, but brother, you need to take care of yourself. That's why I'm super excited to tell you about the sponsor of our today's video, which is Teach Henley. Now, Teach Henley simplifies the process of taking care of your skin as, the, as a man. They provide you with all of the products that you need and nothing that you don't. Listen here, yeah, honestly, you need to believe me when I tell you that implementing a good skincare for yourself we boost your confidence. And honestly, I'm not even kidding you. It will boost your confidence as a man. Now, I would personally recommend that you start with a level one product, which consists of all of the basic things that you need. They have a face wash that works for all skin types. They also have this exfoliating scrub. This exfoliating scrub is very good for your skin. It helps you remove all of the dead skin cells on your face. They also provide you with the AM and PM moisturizer now the am moisturizer has an spf 20 that will protect you against the sun because you can be tough but you cannot be tougher than the sun and to make it super easy they provide you with this instruction card that makes it easy for you to use the product it tells you what time to use them and in what order and you know the quantity that you will use now you don't even have to take my word for it okay go online they have over seven thousand plus positive reviews that will change 
your mind when it comes to taking care of your skin now this is not something that you want to play with honestly this is not something you want to joke with prevention is the key so get ahead of yourself today and prevent any signs of aging your future self is going to thank you for this now in addition to giving you an amazing skin teach and also gives its members some amazing offers including at least a 20 percent discount on retail prices you also get access to exclusive monthly deals you get a free shipping if you're in the us and also you can you know stop or pause your membership at any time now because teach and Lee is sponsoring today's video they are offering my viewers a great deal all you have to do is click on the link in the description box and you are going to get a 30 percent discount off your first box order plus you also be getting a free gift and don't miss out on this amazing deal and click on that link now to get started today in as much as you're taking care of your physical ap appearance because you know that's the first thing people are going to see you should also be taking care of yourself inwardly now you know how they say beauty can you know get you through the door but good character will keep you there it's the same thing for men so now you're looking so fine your skin is glowing your skin is giving but how do you keep this woman you can attract a woman but how do you keep this woman now i have a complete video on you know attracting a woman and keeping a woman i'll put that link at the end of this one so you can also go check it out but it is very important that in as much as you're looking beautiful in as much as you're looking amazing outwardly inwardly you should have prepared your mind to be the kind of man that, will, that a woman will want to stay with so you cannot be looking really fine outside and inwardly you are just you're a woman bitter you're a narcissist you are all of those dirtiness so you also need to work on yourself to keep that woman after you have attracted her to yourself which leads me to the next brutal truth brother be careful what you lead with when you're trying to get a girl okay because i see some of you try so hard to please a woman okay that you you you, you fake everything just because you're trying to get her attention now once she comes into the space and she doesn't see what you know all of the things you were flashing her she might just not want to stay with you now that's when a lot of people come and say oh she was not patient with him she was all about the money but the truth is, if that woman is asked what happened or what led that marriage to, to crash, it could be because all of the things you showed her was just a, it was a mirage, okay? And when she got into the relationship, she found out that the house you were always taking pictures and posing doesn't belong to you. It's your friend's house, okay? The cars you were flaunting to come and take her to fancy places does not even belong to you. It's rented cars, okay? The fancy places you're taking her to have fancy lunch and dinner because you're trying to bag her. You can barely pay those bills. You've been borrowing money to take her out because you're trying so hard to please her. Now, when she sees all of this, she's going to let you go and you're going to go about saying she's a gold digger really brothers like we need to be very careful with these things it's it's the truth it is painful but it is the truth so don't try to deceive a woman no do pass yourself that's what nigerians would say like do what you can do okay let the woman see you for who you really are before she even gets into bed with you let her decide that she wants to be with this person now in as much as you're taking care of yourself you need to be able to tell yourself the truth okay don't try to lead a woman with money i have a video on you know i have a video on don't chase with money it is a big no-no it is a brutal truth that you need to listen if you show a woman money if you flash a woman money she's going to want you to keep the same energy so it's better that you make her fall in love with your person and not the possessions around you because believe it or not there are a lot of gold diggers there are a lot of genuine women also but there are a lot of gold digging women out there who will come to you because you flashed something fancy in their faces okay and now when they don't see when you cannot keep the same energy when you lose your job just because they fell in love with you because of those fancy things that you flash and they were not able to see the real you because all they could see was the money and the fancy lifestyle now when something happens to you god forbid and you lose that fancy lifestyle and you lose that money they will not want to be with you so be very careful what you lead with when you're trying to bag a woman because like it or not women will want you to keep the same energy okay they will want you to keep the same energy it's a truth that you guys need to definitely pay attention to all right the fourth on my list is hmm, listen guys women want security like i'll say all women all women want security and i know yes in this day and age women are working and providing money for themselves and you know we have the bossy chicks and all of that but women still want security and security is not really all about the money women want you to give them what they can give to themselves a lot of times and don't listen to women that say oh i can provide everything for myself no they cannot all right women want you to be there they want a man that's why you see a lot of times 
women will say, I want a man taller than me. It's just a, we like say a psychological something or like a natural something that we just want a bigger man. We want a man that is bigger in everything. We want a man that is physically bigger than us so that we don't look like he's a um, boss. Okay? We kind of want people to see you like our, our shield. Okay? So it's very important that as a man you work on yourself, both physically, financially, uh, emotionally, okay? It's very important. And spiritually, you need to be that covering on your woman women love it we want a man that that's why sometimes when you know i watch all of this like a nurse mirage kind of dating um hunt game shows and i see women say oh no he's too short or he doesn't look like he can take care of me and it's not about the gold digging vibe when it, when the woman say i don't look, he doesn't look like he can take care of me women like to feel covered we don't want to feel like we 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 get into bed with you or become yours and it's like we entered one chance it's like like what have we done to ourselves okay there's no financial protection there's no physical protection in fact if i'm robbers should come here now you'll be the first person to run away and you expect us to fight for you like no woman wants to be in a situation like that where she's physically stronger than her man and she's financially stronger than her man like how do you even expect that kind of woman to respect you as a man okay so it's just very important that you build yourself okay it's not about it's not about everything it's all about women no but it's just how nature is at the end of the day you still want a woman at the end of the day you still want to have a woman so it is very important that you place yourself in a position where it's women that are struggling to get you and not you going to women and getting rejected and it keeps killing your self-esteem so it's better that you know all of these things and you just work on yourself so that you have, you will be the one to have the power to begin to choose and say, okay, I want to be with her. I don't want to be with her. I don't want to be with her. That's how life should be. Okay, don't wait until women have rejected you and then you start saying, oh, women don't even know what they want. Women know what they want. You just have to be what they want. Okay, so make sure that you take care of yourself, you know, to be that security that women want. Women want you to be their emotional support okay they want to have that one friend that they can come and cry to and feel safe and you can actually relate to the pain and say oh baby i've got you don't worry everything will be fine i watched that sorry i'm digressing a little i watched uh helen's paul helen paul's you know um session with the honest bunch how she talked about how you know she broke down a certain time and she called her husband because her driver said something and the husband came and the husband you know held her she cried and talked and the husband listened to her and then told her all of the right things that she wants to hear that's the kind of security that women are looking for a man that has empathy a man that can relate when his woman is pouring out her heart not the man that will say it's not a big deal it's, it's not that serious you're overthinking it you are too soft you need to be strong like bro i don't know how to tell you guys but like you need to learn how to be emotionally available for your women okay everything is not be strong be strong no you need to know how to hold her and say everything will be fine Okay, let us plan it this way, let us plan it this way. That's one of the security. It's not just about the money, okay? And then try to, you know, keep fit and, you know, look like somebody that when I tell them, don't worry, let my man catch you. Don't worry, when you see my man, you begin to apologize to me. That's what we want. And then we want you to have that money. So that if somebody comes to oppress us also, maybe court cases or, you know, any kind of money just to intimidate us, you can come out and answer the odogu that you are. It's very, very important that you, you have all of this security because like it or not is what women are looking for in men and last on my list today is and this one is very very important guys you need to have boundaries as a man or women will run over you now i saved this one for the last because you guys needed to listen to hear this one okay boundaries are very important it doesn't matter how much in love you are with this person it doesn't matter how this how it doesn't matter if this person is the love of your life and everything you need to have boundaries and you need to have it early in a relationship it's something that you need to have early in a relationship see women hmm, women know what they are doing no <laughs> women know what they are doing they know what they know who they want to respect and they know who they want they will disrespect and they know how to disrespect you if you give them a window to disrespect you they will take advantage of you women are smart ass i'm telling you women know what they are doing if you give them the liberty of running all over you they will run all over you that's why as a man it's important that you have your shit together it's important that you know who you are you know who you are so that you're not running after a girl running after a girl she's telling you please why are you bugging me why are you calling me all the time don't you have a life you don't want a woman to talk to you like that so you need to know yourself you need to have boundaries you need to let a woman know that there are certain things she can't say to you 
And the moment she, she see, the most important thing is, is when you start, you get into a relationship and you already know that you will not like a woman to be the certain way around you or say the certain way or talk to you in a certain way. The moment she tries it the first time, you shut it down. You shut it down. I'm telling you, you don't smile and say, mm, you don't want to offend her. Maybe if you correct her now, she will be peace. Brother, correct her. Hmm. It will become a pattern. Correct her. If a woman does something so early in a relationship that you don't like, correct her with love. Let her know, babes, I don't really like when you do this, okay? Don't do it. Like, I don't really like this one. Like, don't say this way or don't do this way or don't say this in front of my friend or don't dress the kind of way or don't do this on social media. It's better you say it early. If the relationship is going to scatter, let it scatter. Okay? Set boundaries. Let the woman know that you cannot ride me. You cannot be all over my head. When I'm talking, keep quiet. Let us talk one after the other. You don't talk over my head. Okay? So women are smart mouths. Before you talk one, they talk 11. So you correct it early. You know that mm, 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 not allowed. Don't cross this boundary. Don't talk about my sister. Don't talk about my mom. If we're having an issue, talk to me. Don't mention my family. Don't mention my exes. Don't mention this. Don't mention that. Like, don't mention names. You need to know the areas that you need to have boundaries. Don't involve my work mate. Don't do this. Don't do that. Work is work. Relationship is relationship. Home is home. Like, you need to set boundaries very early because, like I said, women know what they're doing. And if you leave them, they will walk all over you. Okay? I'm not saying all women know. There are some women that also have boundaries, so they respect boundaries. Even when you've not put a boundary, because they have boundaries, things that they know that they don't want people to cross when it comes to them, excuse me, they're not also going to want to cross it when it comes to other people. Okay? So they are going to naturally keep that, that boundary but some women that don't know boundary and don't understand boundary and i'm telling you there are a lot of women even even in, in female relationships that don't know what boundary is okay that don't know what boundary is so even in your your as male friends that don't know boundary you should correct your male friends also you know how you guys can just play and your male friend can say oh my, this is your girlfriend sweet though she goes sweet to trauma you then enjoy that if you don't like it you stop saying babe guy no they talk about my woman like that if they're very disrespectful no 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 they look my woman like that i don't like it no mention no, don't say this type of thing about my woman is wrong i don't like it. it's disrespectful to her and i will not take it next time he's not gonna try it those, those silly jokes he's not gonna say it anymore so boundaries boundaries you need to learn to have boundaries. It's very important, okay? And it's important that you introduce it earlier on in the relationship so that your woman knows what to do and what not to do. Not like she's going to start working on eggshells, but she's going to be like, okay, he has boundaries and it's very sexy. It's sexy when I know that you have respect for yourself so you will not let me disrespect you, okay? So learn to have those respect for yourself so that you will not be disrespected by women and that's the end of the video for today let me know what you think about this video in the comment section and guys if you know you're subscribed please make sure you subscribe before you leave give this video a thumbs up and share it to as many people as possible that needs to see it okay so until next time keep living life giving champs and bye for now mm -hmm.